welcome guys i am ready with a new setup and today we are going to discuss cross object formula fields especially we are going to discuss four points first is what is cross object formula field and when to create it second how to create it i'll just show you that how to create a cross object formula field third one difference between cross object and custom formula field and the fourth one is notes to take care while you are creating cross object formula field so let me start with the first point that is what is cross object formula fields and when do you need to use it before starting with this explanation let me tell you the basic definition of cross object field formula field which you will find everywhere that is cross object formula fields are the formulas that span related objects and reference merge fields does that really sound difficult don't worry let me simplify it for you just look over here okay here are two objects object a and object b both of these objects are related to each other object a is on the one side of a relationship and object b is on the many side of a relationship like there is an example of this type of relationship account and contact account and contact both are the standard objects of salesforce which are related to each other contact is on the many side of the relationship and account is on the one side of the relationship you create cross object formula fields whenever you want object a's records field to be visible on the object b's record let's discuss with this example okay uh, there are two account records on uh, in our salesforce account For the first one is abc software and the second one is xyz clothes there are three people working in uh, this ABC softwares. One is John, Gary, and David. And in XYZ clothes, there is Louis and there is Mario who are working into them. So this is our account records and these are our contact records. This contact record is related to this account and this contact re uh, record is related to this account. This contact related account record is related to this account. If you want the website field of this account record to be visible on the contact record also then you'll create a cross object formula field on the contact object if you'll create a uh, cross object formula field which will refer this website field of account object then on the contact record of john there will be a website visible www.abc.com and on the gary it will be the same www.abc.com Whereas in Louis and Mario's contact records, the website will be www.xyz.com. This is how cross object formula fields work. Now, as we have understood that what is cross object formula field and where do we need to create it, it's time to create one. So the next step is how to create a cross object formula field. To create a cross object formula field in Salesforce, there is no particular step or there is no particular button or action which you can take. You just need to create a formula data type field on the object on which you want to show the field of the related object that is of the one side object. Let's take the example which we, uh, taken, uh, which we have taken earlier account and contact. We just have to create a formula field on the contact object which will refer a field of account object. That is all what we call as a cross object formula field. There is no other thing which is specified in Salesforce that this is the way you have to create a cross object formula field. You just have to create a formula field in which the formula will refer the field of another related object and that object should be on the one side of the relationship. So let's jump in and see how does it work. Hello, so here we are back with uh, our org and now I'm going to show you that how to create a, uh, create a cross object formula field. Uh, we are going to create a cross object formula field on the contact object which will refer the website field on the account object. So let's see uh, that we have two accounts over here. First is ABC Software, whose website's name is www.abc.com, and the second account which we have is XYZ Clothes, where website is xyz.com. And there are two contacts working uh, in this account, Louis and Mario. Let's see the Louis record here. Uh, there is no field like website mentioned over here and what we want to do is uh, we want to show the website field of the account on this contact record and same with Mario's record over here we want to show the website www.xyz.com
and here are three accounts john gary and uh, david on gary's account we want to show a website which is its associated accounts website that is abc.com so let us just start creating with the uh, let us just create a cross object formula field to create a cross object formula field on the contact object we'll simply go to the setup menu and type in contact then we'll go to fields over there we'll create a new custom field with a formula data type cross object formula fields are just formulas nothing else so you just have to create a formula and in that formula we'll simply uh, create a field uh, called as accounts website and its return type should be text or whatever uh, uh, like based on the field you are getting from the one side object here we'll simply go to account with this arrow this is the relationship we'll not go with account id we'll simply go with the account with the arrow so that we can refer the fields of the one side object that is account here are all the fields present in the account object so we want to select website and we'll simply insert it check syntax no errors read blank fields as blanks next this is the field level security which you can set according to your org and just save it now let's go to um abc software's contacts which are gary john and david okay in gary you can see that his accounts website www.abc.com and let's see what's there in the john's accounts website field it's the same www.abc.com just because we have created a cross object formula field the one side field is showing on on the many side records field and let's check what what happened with uh, xyz clothes contacts that are louis and mario on the louis we are getting xyz.com so this is how you have to create a cross object formula field hope you have understood back to back Congratulations you have successfully created a cross object formula field but you must be thinking that what is the basic difference between cross object formula field and custom formula field so let's have a look over here okay custom formula field only refer fields of object on which it is created what that means is that if you are creating a formula field on a contact object and that formula field refers the fields of contact object only then it will be considered as a custom formula field whereas in cross object formula fields Uh, these fields refer fields of related object also what that means is that if you are referring accounts field on the formula field which you are creating on contact object then it will be considered as a cross object formula field so this is the basic difference there is nothing like cross object formula field existing it's just a formula field which is referring field of another related object that's it and comes to the second point which is can uh, it can be used in another uh, other custom formula field and cross object formula field custom formula fields can be used in other custom formula fields as well as in the cross object formula fields whereas in cross object formula fields you cannot use uh, like um, i mean cross object formula fields cannot be used in custom formula fields otherwise those custom formula fields will be considered as cross object formula fields only because they are indirectly referring the field of another related object so this is the basic difference between cross object formula field and custom formula field the fourth and the most important point that we need to discuss is the notes about cross object formula fields which you need to take care while creating a cross object formula field so coming up to the first point object a and object b are related to each other and this relationship can be any one of master detail or lookup there is no compulsion that the relationship should be of master detail only or lookup only it can be any of the one second can refer fields up to 10 relationships away what that means is that you can refer the fields which are 10 relationships away from the object on which you are creating that cross object formula field and if you want that limit to be increased like uh, currently it's 10 and if you want it to be increased till 15 you can call uh, contact your sales force support and they can increase it to 15 if required coming up to the third point it bypasses uh, security and sharing setting what that means is that uh, imagine you have two objects like uh, account and cases both are related to each other a account can have multiple cases 
you have access to the cases of, uh, object records but you do not have the access to account object records but if there is a field displayed on the page layout of uh, cases record which refers the field of account record uh, then you uh, you can able to see that field on cases record so that means is that if you do not have the access to uh, account object and you have a cross object formula field on the case record which refers the field of account field you can see that field so it bypasses security and sharing settings so you need to take care of that wherever you are referring the uh, like field of another object the user should have the access of it otherwise it will be bypassed and he or she can see the, that field of a particular object objects record which he doesn't have the access to Coming up to the fourth point, cross object formula fields can't be referred in roll up summary fields whereas custom formula fields can be, okay. So like there are object A and object B. For uh, roll up summary fields, uh, the relationship should be master detail and uh, you want that uh, like object, uh, there should be a field on object A which aggregates the data of uh, object B's record. In that situation, you will create a roll up summary field and that roll up summary field will be applied on a particular field of object B. That particular field can be custom formula field but cannot be cross object formula field. Yes, so this is the fourth point that you need to take care of. And the fifth and the fifth and last point is can only refer fields of the object on one side. Cross object formula fields can uh, refer the field of one side of a relationship. Like object B's cross object formula field can refer to object A's record, records field. But vice versa cannot happen because it's, it, it, it really makes sense. Like uh, let's take the example of account and contact only you have an account and you have multiple contacts associated with it you are creating a cross object formula field on the contact record that contact records cross object formula field will refer to the account records field because it uh, it is related to one uh, one record of account only but in the situation where we want to uh, refer contacts field on account object then we have multiple rec uh, records associated multiple contact records associated with that particular account so there is an ambiguity that from which record we should get that field so cross object formula fields can only refer the fields on the one side of a relationship or you can say that uh, on the parent side of a relationship so all these points you need to take care of while creating a cross object formula field and that's it. Now as you have become the Salesforce cross object formula fields expert, it's time to subscribe to this channel on YouTube. Especially if you're watching this video on Facebook, there's a link down in the description. Just hit that link, go to the YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button to get weekly videos all related to Salesforce. So see you next week. Until then, bye-bye. Take care.